Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got a treat of a fifth wheel for you. It's the 2022 Riverstone Reserve 3950 uh, FWK. This is their front kitchen model. So if you guys dig front kitchen models, you guys are definitely going to like this one. But yeah, today I'm going to jump right into it. Probably 10-15 minutes here on the inside, a couple minutes on the outside. Wrap this up and 15 to 20, something like that. If you guys want some specifications on this unit or my contact information for pricing, make sure to check the description. Um, yeah, yeah. But the 2022 Riverstone Reserve 3950 FWK. And being a front kitchen model, I thought that it was fitting. Uh, we'll just go ahead and start up, you know, in the front kitchen. And if you guys want a video that's similar to this, I will tag... Uh, my big country one that I did, you know, just for a little bit of a different decor uh, in case you guys want kind of a different color to the same, you know, relatively the same camper. Uh, but I love these Riverstone Reserves. First off, I think one, it is looking sharp. You got the accent lighting down underneath. It really lightens and brightens it up. You have plenty of working space for, you know, just for cooking and for storage. I mean, check out all this storage right over here. I mean, you got six of these little pull-out drawers, the bottom two being the larger. You have this right here, which is basically, you know, like a mini closet. Use that as a pantry. Magnetic latches, similar to something, you know, you'd find inside of a home. So they're built a little bit better. This thing is no joke. I mean, it weighs like just above or just below 16.2. So it is not a light camper. But what you get, you know, are some of these nicer features like those magnetic latches. You know, your soft clothes your hard solid surface countertops all throughout, real tile backsplashes, you know, all those little things add up to, you know, just a little bit more weight. Uh, you got some pull out, pull outs right there. Just keep things a little bit organized for you. Uh, this is going to be the cooktop or the cutting board, basically top for uh, the sink cover. So that's nice to have. Six of those bad boys right here. I'm going to open up two of them for you, give you a good little idea. Again, that soft close right there, which I always think is pretty neat. It's a nice little added touch for you. All right, so right here you got your windows. Every window is going to come with a day and a nightshade. So there's going to be your day shade, you know, and your nightshade. And um, then, of course, there's obviously no shade. Um, you get yourself uh, tinted windows, you know, which are always nice. You get yourself some outlets. The decor on them, I think, is looking pretty sharp, you know, right up there. You're also going to find that on the Riverstones, you know, it's a real wood. Um, so, you know, that's always a perk. A little bit nicer quality than most of your campers, you know, yet again. Um, right here, solid surface countertops. Again, this is what I was talking about with the real tile. You know, it's an actual tile. The decor here is looking pretty sharp. You got that distressed, you know, wood look for your shelving. Dishwasher. A little bit of storage there up underneath. You got this really nice window right up here so you can get a good view. Hopefully it's not of an RV dealership. You know, you're out on the you're out on the lake somewhere, kind of hanging out, chilling. You got your day shade if you want to do that. And again, your night shade. You're also gonna see there's two sets of outlets. You got two right there, two right there. Double bowl stainless steel undermounted sink, as well as your high-rise residential faucet. You got a little place for a dish brush right there. <coughs> and some storage up underneath as well as some access uh, to your plumbing. Now, one thing that is very nice about this brand and in Riverstone, you know, as a whole is they don't really um, ease up on, you know, some of the expenses. These are not cheap campers. This does come with the insignia. This is the industry's largest oven. So you get your four stainless steel, or geez, oh, peach. You get your four uh, stovetop burners, as well as that oven. You know, right there, just look how massive that thing is. You could quite literally cook a turkey in there, you know, no problem. That is how big this Insignia oven is. 
You're also going to get your real fancy pants Samsung microwave. And that's going to go ahead and be matched with your Samsung refrigerator. Real nice residential refrigerator. We still got to put the drawers on there, but uh, we got someone picking up here in the next day or two. So just kind of getting it ready. And then you got this little nook with a little bit more storage, maybe like a little coffee bar type area. You got a couple outlets, your solar charge controller right there. Got a little drawer, and right there, a place for some garbage cans, which I think is pretty neat. It's a good use of the space. Give you another little look at the kitchen here, and we'll start moving on. And if there's any other additional information you guys would like me to start including in these videos, you know, don't be shy. Drop a comment. Let me know. You know, obviously, I do these to make a little bit of extra money, not only here on YouTube, but a couple extra sales, you know, as well. So right here, you got this little desk, overlook perch, you know, sit down, hang out, relax, put a movie on, get some work done. A lot of people are buying these, you know, traveling nurses, whatever job that you're doing kind of on the road. It's a really nice way now with this kind of new world we're getting into. Um, but right over here to the right, you got two USB ports and two more outlets for all your dev devices. You also have another window. So right as you walk inside, oh, geez, oh, Pete's. Right as you walk inside the door down here, you got yourself your central vac system. These are going to be where all your fuse, your fuse box is. Some more stowaway storage right there. A little place to hang up a couple jackets. And then this right here is going to be, you know, your control center. So. Uh, this is where you're going to control all your lightings. Everything's very clearly organized on here. You got your home, electric, you know, HVAC. So you can set multiple rooms to different temperatures. Uh, that's always a plus. And then all your slides are all color coordinated to make it real nice and easy for you. All right, so now we're in this living room area. As you can see, you've got yourself a massive electric fireplace, which not only looks good, but puts out some serious heat. That thing has a setting to go all the way up to 100 degrees. On a day like today, you know, where it's 60 degrees, probably going to get down to 35, 40 at night. That's really all the heat that you need for, you know, most of this camper. You might want to kick on a little bit in the bedroom. Um, but for the most part, that's really going to knock off the chill and save you a ton of money on propane got yourself your speakers are all going to be JBL uh, so you can get these things bumping if that's the kind of person you are you know if you want to play some music nice and loud uh, you're welcome to do that you also have this really nice size TV right here as you swing it around you got yourself a sleeper sofa so you can sleep an additional two that'll go out to about midway through this room uh, sleep two there you also have an emergency exit so you pull that red tab push that back and you're getting out, you know, in case you can't, uh, you know, get to the other or to the door right here, I suppose. Um, but nice to have. Storage here all the way up and across. Again, take a look at these cabinets. You know, real nice. And this is going to go from wall to wall. You get your Allure. Uh, theater seating right here and what's nice about that is you got some lit up you know cup holders but these are power so extend and retract and then built into the front of these you'll notice you got a little usb uh, charging station which is nice now this customer opted to put the desk into here there is another option for another couch which you can do if you choose uh, but again, with so many people kind of on the road with all this COVID stuff, Ola, uh, you know, a lot of people are going with this desk option so you can work on the road, a little office on the road. But it comes with plenty of storage. You got some outlets there underneath. There's four drawers that size. And then two this size. Again, all soft closing. 
and another emergency exit window, as well as two other windows. Get yourself a good view, make it feel a little bit less stuffy. Same storage, you know, that was on the other side right there. Give you another little quick little glance though. So you got plenty of storage. Up here, you got yourself a little fan. Keep that air circulating. Another little touch. You know, make it a little bit more residential. All right, and this brings us back to uh, the bathroom here. So you got plenty of storage, not only underneath the sink, but you got to the left, you know, of the shower. And that's going to go all the way down, similar to that, to the floor. Place to hang up some towels. Of course, you got two racks for TP. I guess one's for, one's for real-time use and one's for backup use. Tri-slide series uh, door for the shower. Oh, got to unlock it. Just makes it so it condenses that a little bit better. Takes up a little bit less storage space right there. Got a little seat that you can knock down. Real nice looking shower. Couple more outlets and a control for your max air vent, uh, which is going to be right there so with a couple clicks of the button well we gotta open it well heck apparently i don't know what i'm doing today but a couple clicks of a button you guys are getting that moving again solid surface countertops some accent lighting there below and that brings us up to the bedroom, which is also looking real sharp. Got a real nice decor going to it. Got yourself a queen bed. You got storage. To the left and to the right of the bed, you're also going to notice you have a place for USBs and outlets. USBs and outlets. You're also going to have two little countertops, and two uh, these little cubbies. You can get a king-size bed in this one. Uh, the customer opted to put a queen bed in. Your Connex TV with a built-in little sound bar. Another window. And you got yourself a little dresser right here. So you're going to have two of these. And two of these. Storage up above all throughout. And check out how deep that is. This customer added in the washer and dryer feature. So again, for more of a full-time use there, you got a washer and dryer while you're on the road. And that is a residential style, the stackable. And then you got yourself a real nice size closet. With another little dresser. But that about does it for the inside portion of this tour. Now I'm just going to take you around the outside. Just kind of show you a little bit about the exterior appearance. Again, if you guys found this video useful and you guys have stuck around this long, if you guys don't mind... Hit that like and subscribe button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and like I said before, don't be shy with the comments. You know, I'm here to get any input.
So there is an option, I believe, for the outside TV, which you can do right there. They put on the metal wrapped awnings for the slides. You got dual awnings. So you have this one big awning right here, and then you have a second awning right back there. Get some good storage in here, and you'll notice it's all got that diamond plate flooring. You got your rear slide out tray, the more ride slide tray. You have a ladder for your fully walkable roof, so you can get on there and do any type of maintenance that you might need. It is also prepped for a rear observation camera. Well, actually, it's prepped for the four camera safety system. Uh, so if you'd like to add on that, you are more than welcome. That way you can see what's going on behind you, to the sides of you, even above your doorway. Power cords on a power reel right inside of there. Two more storage containers. You got your six point auto leveling. This is gonna be your docking station. So it's gonna be all your different pumps uh, for, you know, you got your fresh tank and all that good stuff, your low point drain, hot cold shower valves, and a little bit of a spray port. Dual axle unit. Ooh, that's the back side there of the pass-through storage. I'll show you the other side here in just a second. That would be this right here. That's going to be your pass-through storage. Also shows off that aluminum construction there. But yeah, I think that about wraps this up. Again, this was the 2022 Riverstone Reserve 3950 FWK. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys had a good day. See ya.